Now I know what you're thinking. That is weird, Nick. Yep. So, so the idea that I had was to kind of make something out of licorice all sorts. Yeah, baby, yeah. Now I don't know about you, but I hate licorice all sorts. I guess they're a bit like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. Okay, I'm gonna scrap this idea. I've had a better one. Normally I get those after I've finished the project. What I'm doing now is I've ripped all of this off of here. Initially I kind of had it tight against this piece of wood. I'll let you know what this piece of wood is for in a minute. <laughs> if you're wondering what is he doing. Um, but I've kind of left now a gap in between here instead of putting it up tight against there. And there's a reason for that. You'll find out in just a sec. Okay, here we go, folks. <laughs> so, this is, ooh, so far, so good. So, I kind of left the gap in there, all the way round, um, because I've got another idea, and that is, Oh yes, <laughs> silicone rubber. So what I'm gonna be doing now is, I thought it was a better option uh, to make uh, another mold with inside the mold. This mold will be much better than this mold. Right, so there's our mould. Oh yes. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, a little bit dusty from my other projects going on. So we're just gonna demold this and flip it around.
Okay, folks, this project is massive. <laughs> I normally do little ones, but this one is a pretty big one. Um, so what I've done here is I just put a base coat in because I just wanted a first layer of base in there so we can work off of that with our licorice all sorts. <laughs> so, so I'll leave that to set. It's going to take a few days, uh, but I'll come back to you when it's dry. This is taking quite some time, but I reckon it's gonna look pretty punkadelic. Especially if you love licorice all sorts. If you don't, uh... Right, we're gonna have to fast forward this, because this is taking ages. Boom. Oh. Yes. Baby. Ah, now this is gonna look Pretty funkadelic, if I say so myself. La me? <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to stick in some resin, but just a thin layer of resin. So, because we don't want all these licorice all sorts to float around. <laughs> so, I'm just going to give it a little kind of dusting. And I'm using the fast epoxy from Entropy Resins. So this should cure overnight, or just over. <laughs> uh, and then we can then fill the rest of it with the slow hardener to get that nice, happy day's finish. That's the bottom coat in, so we'll leave that overnight and then that will hopefully seal all these uh, all sorts to the base layer. And then we can put in the top coat. Oh yes. I like it a lot. Okay folks, this is now dry. <laughs> look at it, it does look pretty cool, but what we've got is kind of a bit of a mixed bag, which is all right, so the resin, which is interesting, has kind of dyed the yellow bits red. Uh, we've got some kind of yellow bits of resin over the yellow bits of stuff, <laughs> all sorts, which actually, like here, take, it's like, it's, that's quite a cool pattern. Like this red one has gone black. That pink one has got blue in it. <laughs> so we've got some really random stuff. We got green bits on the red bit. <laughs> um, so that actually still looks pretty cool. I'm pretty chuffed with it. This is going to look pretty neat. I've already knocked up my entropy, ready to put this on. Now, this entropy resins is the slow hardener because we can't get this in the pressure pot because it's a little bit too big. So that's why I'm using the slow uh, resin, so this is going to take a couple of days uh, to set. I'm not going to go crazy, you don't need to fill it too high, but we want a good, you know, sort of thickness of resin on top of this. Right, let's get a pour in. Oh, yeah.
Right, so folks, what I've done here is I'm just putting a base. It's just a bit of scrap kind of flooring that I've had. So it's nothing really major, but it's quite nice underneath. So, uh, not that you're really gonna look underneath, but you never know. So we're gonna paint some entropy onto here because I don't wanna put glue on it because you may see that. I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Entropy Resins. Now Entropy Resins are a new generation of epoxies. High performance, environmentally friendly, more sustainable epoxy. Powered by plants, their super sap formulations replace petrochemicals with renewable bio-based materials. Now the Entropy Resins range includes laminating, clear casting, and compression molding epoxies. All designed for strength and ease of use. All Entropy Resins are designed with chemistry inspired by Mother Nature, formulated with renewable resources to the highest extent possible. From artists to board manufacturers, woodworkers, Entropy Resins is used globally due to its excellent ability of clear casting, clear coating, adding depth, showcasing vibrant colours, creating sheen. That's not Martin Sheen. The team at Entropy Resins have developed a culture of giving back to make the world we live in a better place. Donating 1% of its sales to environmental causes worldwide. And that's exactly why I use Entropy Resins. It basically makes things better. But Entropy Resins aren't just made better, they're made responsibly. So their customers can be sure that they are reducing the environmental impact by using their products without compromising on performance. If you can dream it, Entropy Resins can help you achieve it. <laughs> this stuff is really cool. I use it in every project that I do. I would seriously recommend giving this stuff a whirl. It is awesome to work with. I'll leave links below for everyone in the UK and also links for you folks across the pond. Cheers, Entropy Resins. I'm loving it. That's McDonald's. But we'll take it anyway.
your support with this project. So there it is, folks. <laughs> Another weird craziness for you. I kind of had this all sort kind of idea uh, in my head for a while. I just didn't know what to do with it. Now, obviously, I know the sweets are kind of like moist, so <laughs> it weren't going to be great in resin. However, turned out all right. Whether or not they'll go mouldy or not in the future, I don't know. But this resin had really great effects, as you can see. So a massive thanks to Entropy Resins for sponsoring this video. Please check out the links for Entropy Resins below and grab yourself a tub. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, folks. Please, if you wouldn't mind helping me and this channel by sharing the video, that will really help me out. And of course, if you smash the like button, that helps me out too. I'm on Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, please check me out. I put up some teaser pictures and videos every now and again. Link also below. I'm not a massive fan of all sorts. It's kind of a bit like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. I'm sure I said that earlier on. So I don't much go on all sorts if I'm honest, but it was a fun project. I reckon this table will look really cool in someone's hallway or living room, especially if you're a sweet lover. And obviously, an all sort lover. I don't know if you saw in there, but the resin uh, gave some really cool effects to some of the little sweets. They kind of were red and pink, and they kind of ended up having loads of green and blue bits on them. So that was quite cool and interesting. You'll also notice that the resin also turned some of the pink ones blue. So we had lots more blue than we kind of wanted really, but it still turned out pretty cool. And there's all sorts of colors in there. Are you a licorice fan? Well again, folks, thanks for watching this video. Sorry I didn't get a video up last week. I have got loads of crazy projects in the making, but some of them taking longer than others, like this one. Well, thanks for joining me on this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a fantastic, amazing, awesome weekend. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you for the next one.